hello everybody and welcome back to some rising world uh it's been a little bit since i recorded some of this and last time i left off guys we was working on this parking garage over here um the whole concept for this parking garage guys now there is going to be a little bit of lag in this game um, there's a lot of planks and beams in this world because i don't entirely like to build with blocks and I am in creative now naturally I have the option whether I can fly in creative or in survival but I'm in creative today guys because I want to map out the um, I want to kind of map out the uh, floors of this place okay um, basically where the paths are gonna go so let's go ahead let's hit the um, HUD here real quick let's turn that thing back on so you guys can see what I'm talking about Basically what it is I want to do is I want to take these blocks right here and I can go ahead and let's hit escape. Let's go up inside of here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this right up here. So to do that, if you guys aren't aware of this, you can go all the way inside of here. We can scroll down through the miscellaneous. Now what we want to look for is this where it says creative mode settings. You can hide the toolbar. So we can go ahead, hit this right here, and surprise, it's gone. Because we just want to use the default for today, okay? So what I want to be able to do is to map out where it's all going. But also, I kind of need to be able to map out where the height and the length of everything is. Now, we already said that we wanted to separate the floors off by, how many blocks is that? That is seven. Okay, so we wanted to map it off by about seven, right? So let's say this one goes about right here for the next floor. This right here will go in for the next floor. So what I want to do is I want to kind of come across this right here. And I want to bring this thing all the way down here and connect it up. And we're just going to go ahead and connect this and separate it off real fast. And I'm going to go ahead and do this on all four of these corners pretty much from about let's see here um do 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 i'm thinking maybe on this main post right here and we'll do that same exact thing all the way down here on this post right here because you got to remember guys i said that i'm going to kind of curve a road around that's going to come up and go straight through whoa um i'm going to cur curve a road it's going to come through there and it's going to go right up through this to this floor right here. So that leaves us a, that should be a six block gap. Yep. Okay. So that means that the seventh block all the way up here, this right here is the height for the next floor. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to separate this off going the whole way up to that. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm putting myself the uh, first layer up here on the top. What this is, basically, this is going to be like the upper layer of this. Um, think of this more or less as like the uh, safety rail for this. I know this building, it's kind of flat right now at the moment. Um, we will work on that, but what I'm going to be doing is this building itself, we're going to be working on it using bricks. Um, we've already kind of worked on the frame by using this stuff right here. That is perfectly fine. Um, I still want to be able to work on it using this and this, basically the concrete along with this thing right here. But on the inside, on the interior of this thing, guys, we need to kind of figure out where the roads are going to be going. Now, I see I did forget the last and final stripe that goes across this thing. Now, that final stripe, as you can see, is the one that goes up here to the final floor, okay? So, if I go ahead, I'm measuring, I need to come to the six, and then I'm going to come straight across. This is the basically the safety rail, and I just messed that up. So, this is going every other one for a reason. Um, hold that thought. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. This is going every other one so that we might be able to use it for... 
using basically for roads okay I want to be able to put a path going up to each and every single one of these so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of guide the road along these paths going back and forth back and forth you know kind of like this so it's going to be a little bit tough but all the parking is pretty much going to be located right in the center. All the roads are basically going to circle going around it. So we need to kind of come down here towards the end, all the way down here where this road is, right here. And what I want to do is I want to pull this out of my hand just temporarily. And I want to take this road, which comes in here to about right here. Okay. And we're going to take this path. And we're going to kind of loop it and see how far in we can bring this one. Now, remember what I said. I wanted to kind of bring this thing in and see if I can drop it down that way and bring this one up. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can do that just yet. Okay. So let's see what we can first off. Let's do this floor. And I want to bring this one all the way to the end down here. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to bring this one all the way to that right there. And there should be enough space on there for us to be able to use this as like a ramp in itself. Okay, so let's see. Here. Can we bring this thing all the way down to this? And if we were to use this as a ramp going up like right here, you know, we want to kind of take this and shoot it going up here towards this now to do this I'm gonna kind of need to use these things like right here and I also need to measure it all right now the roads themselves they already come in as a uh, let's see here let's just measure this we should be able to measure this from right here okay these things they already come in as a 15 now, if I do a 15 inside of here, there's not going to be much room for parking, okay? So we're going to be narrowing this pathway a little bit, okay? Um, maybe for out, we can have it go this way. And maybe for in, it comes in this way. So let's see here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we're going to run this one in. So let's go ahead and let's finish up this little path. Let's bring this one in. It's going to go into about right here. Let's go ahead to do this. Let's say seven across. Um, hello. All right. Um, we're going to get, let's measure this one out, off. Okay. Let's measure this one. Let's take a look at it real quick here. All right. Now for the across way on this, this thing has to come out by seven. So we already have one. Let's go two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this portion in right here. And I could do this using slabs or whatever else, but, you know, I find this more convenient when building this parking garage to just use the blocks on hand because they're a little bit easier to kind of manage work with right now. Plus, I need to be able to put pillars in this place. So let's go ahead. Let's drag this thing in. And this is going to be like the up ramp. Okay. Now, a down ramp is going to come down from... Hmm. Down ramp. Down ramp right there can come down and kind of link up with the other path. Sounds like a plan. Or it could come down, go to that piece right there and go down, come down again, and then you can ride it right around and come right back out this way. Sounds like a plan. Okay, but it could also link up for going around. We'll see what happens, okay? It's going to take a little bit of work for this. Of course, I have to kind of dig this out underneath a little bit, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's just see what we can come up with for right now with this. Uh, if we can kind of... There we go. I do see i got to remove another tree. It's kind of in our way here. Let's go ahead. Let's do this one. Get this thing into place. 
and let's drag this thing over to that right there. Now I'll worry about that other ramp here in a little bit. I need to bring this one over. So we're, we have two, let's do three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And you're probably wondering right now, well, dude, how are you supposed to get that ramp to go up? Well, we're going to figure that out here in just a moment. Okay. Just calm down, calm down. We'll get that ramp to go up. Don't worry. All right, so here's our first one. This one goes this way, right? Now, we need that ramp to go up. And which way do we need that ramp to go, guys? We need it to go up there. Um, however, we're also going to have cars parked here in the center. So what's the best way of taking this ramp up? I'm thinking the best way of taking it up would probably be about to, let's see here, let's measure this, to take it to about here, or we could bring it to the edge. I'm thinking maybe we go to about... here and then I just replace that one piece and we go to here so that right there would be one two three four five six seven okay so let's go ahead let's add this in and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this up here step stair step it up in threes pretty much okay so we're gonna go three then we're gonna go ahead and drag this one, put this one here. Let's go ahead, let's drag this once more. Uh, needs to come out maybe a little bit further, right here and right here. I don't know how to do ramps too good, so this is gonna be like our first time doing this together. So, there we go. Uh, let's fix that time. There we are, so that we can see what we're doing. All right, let's go ahead. Let's yoink this up out of here. That way we know. Actually, we should probably leave that where it is. That way we know we got to put some type of uh, support in there. But yeah, you know what? Just put this in there. And give me this right here. Here we go. Um, two. All right. Um, better off. Let's see here. Let's grab these. Let's hit this thing right here and let's just use our arrow keys to flip this thing around and we're just going to bring this thing and kind of do one of these like so um, we're going to do it again maybe like right here so we have our seven and I'm going to continue to do this and try to bring it up to this level right here okay guys so give me a moment all right guys so this is what I did I took this seven way path and I ran it coming all the way up, going around this way. And this thing, it kind of goes up and around. Now, what I'm most curious about right now at the moment is, you know, what is the total length of this for coming across for the roads? So let's go ahead and let's take a look at this together. All right, because I'm looking at this over here and our roads kind of like run right into this. So what I want to do is I want to measure from point A to point B, how what is the length, okay? What is the length on this? It is 29. That is more than enough. So if we were to subtract seven from that, that will give us, um, let's see here. Seven from 29 is, oh my goodness. That will give us, oh, gonna, I'm, I brain fart. Let's see here. <laughs> Doing math in my head here. 22. Okay, so that'll give us 22 spaces in the center for roads to kind of, I mean, for parking. That doesn't seem like such a bad idea, does it? No, actually it doesn't, okay? So what I'm thinking is for this portion right here for the roads that are going to come in, because we got to do parking underneath, you know what I mean? And I kind of want that separate from the apartments, which are going to be going up this way, okay? So imagine yourself coming in from the road down there, and yeah, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt that you have to kind of say, 
walk in from over on this side and you want to drive up the road here and just say, well, am I flying still? I thought I hit F2. Okay, yeah, I am. Huh, got blocks sitting here. But uh, yeah, you're driving in from over this way. Now, I do want to be able to push a road in over here. And I do want to be able to shove that thing to basically have it come out this way and basically have you you turn back out and go back out okay so i don't know how big this gap is is this a 14 it should be it's a 13 great so we're off by one block on this thing um this thing got to get pushed over by one um but yeah i wanted this thing to be 14 15 maybe it got to be pushed over by two um yeah this thing got to get pushed over by two blocks that way huh didn't realize that till now i'm gonna go ahead and leave myself a marker for that but i gotta move this thing out by two so i can't work on this portion today because i gotta move it there we go <laughs> let's go ahead let's do that same exact thing over here too i gotta move it i gotta move it out by two um <laughs> Can we just attach that? Yeah, here we go. I got to move it to here. So, yeah, that's going to leave me a little bit of a more wiggle room for this. But, yeah, I, that means this entire beam, it's over here. That goes all the way down this way. It has to move. This got to move. And I'm hoping it doesn't cut into the farms. No, it shouldn't cut into the farms. That's okay. All right. So that should leave me enough room to have some parking come inside of here for the diner. And you'll be able to go out and do your stuff and things. So everything that's back in that way, though, um, I do want to be able to have a road that comes up. Now, this path that will come up this way. Um, you'll be able to enter this side of the garage, which is right here. Now, we don't have this side mapped out just yet. It should be, um, which is obviously that's a seven. It's a little bit too high. Uh, we can look at it here. We have it as an eight. Uh, maybe I could do something with that, but I kind of want to work my way from up here all the way up to the top and worry about down here at last because it's kind of like going to be the pain in the butt to work with. Um, but this right here, this piece, this is what I was thinking we can do with that. Um, let's swap this block out. Let's grab this and let's F2 into the air here just for a wee little bit. And this is what I looked at when I seen this, okay? Because this is supposed to be like a down ramp. I was thinking, well, maybe we could do this. And then I looked over and I was like, well, how do we do that? Well, that should be easy. Um, let's see here. We bring this thing all the way down. Oh, we got a block in the way. Okay, we bring this one all the way across. All the way to maybe about where we're not going to smack our head at when you drive your car down here. Okay, to about 24 blocks in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's measure that out. That should be a seven. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's fill this in. Let's see what it looks like. Let's get my noggin out of the way there for a moment. All right, give me a moment. All right, guys, so I'm back and I did a little bit of math on here. And surprisingly, um, this thing comes together quite proper if I do this thing right. So from the edge of this, if I count down all the way to the edge of well, which way is that? Um, I, I came over to this thing right here. All right. This edge right here. And I counted over and it came out to roughly about 29. Okay. So I came all the way down here. I measured this one. This one came out to about 29. And I was like, okay, well, this one came out to 29. How, what is the length on this one before we ended up going up? Right. So before we ended up going up, 
that was a roughly about, let's see here, um, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that. Okay. Well, anyways, what I did is I did a little bit of math and it turns out right about here would be the proper space for us to be going up, which will leave us plenty of room right here. And it's kind of like dead center and perfect for us to be able to add a little bit of support inside of here for this staircase in itself, okay? So this road can now have some support to it. And I think that's kind of perfect. So this road that goes down, we can go ahead, we can bring this one up and just bring it the same exact way, except for it's going to go a different way, all right? So we're gonna have to go around and do this thing this way. And what this one will do is it will, it, it's going to go all the way up to that one, which is right here, okay? So it, it's going to be a little bit awkward. It's going to look a little bit different, but it's using the opposite paths, okay? So this road, as it comes up here, all right, it's going to twist, it's going to turn, and it's going to go up there, okay? So we already have a long way, all right? It comes up, it goes around, it goes to here, it goes here. So we got to build a path that goes up to that one. So whenever I put this in right here, I made a mistake. This doesn't go here. Um, what I have to do right here on this one is I have to build a ramp from this up to uh, right about in here. And this one's supposed to be right here. It's supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and the game crashed. Oh, no, it didn't. It clean, yep, okay. <laughs> All right, um, I really do not want to edit this, please. That would be my display driver. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> 